Welcome to the course demo for Biotility Root Cause Analysis. The presenter for this course is Brian Gandy from National Resilience, Inc. Brian Gandy holds a Master of Science in Education and Curriculum Development from West Virginia University and Lean Six Sigma Black Belt Certification. With over 20 years of pharmaceutical manufacturing and quality experience in the areas of manufacturing and quality operations and systems, he has implemented process improvement programs, investigation design modules, and training programs in CGMP. Brian has extensive experience in regulatory audits with the FDA, EMEA, Health Canada, Turkey Ministry, and has spent significant time in CGMP facilities in India and Puerto Rico to lead quality process improvement teams. His professional affiliations include ASQ, Pi Gamma Mu, and Captains for Clean Water. When the quality event is identified and during the initial assessment, there needs to be a process known as a triage. This illustration provides a step-based approach when a quality event is identified and what actions should occur. You need to consider who is on the local triage team. This could be the operators, analyst, area supervisor, quality operations personnel, possibly a safety team member or a technical engineer. When assessing the initial event, you need to capture the four W's and H, the what, when, where, why, and how. It's important to document all known information at the time of the event and ensure there is no information lost during the investigation process. Start to think about how do you establish containment and interim control. Do we need to stop the manufacturing process? Do we need to quarantine materials? Do we need to alert the FDA or issue a field alert report if this is a product complaint or product return? This slide provides a template of an Ishikawa or fishbone diagram used for root cause analysis. The template has spaces where ideas can be added to each of the six categories, which are people or manpower, equipment, which can be referred to as machines, environment, formerly referred to as mother nature, methods, materials, and measurement. One of the categories of a fishbone diagram is people or manpower. The people category needs to be explored beyond the so-called human error root cause. Some things to consider are, was the person trained to perform the task? Was too much judgment required to perform the task? Were guidelines for judgment available? Was the person influenced by the environment? Are there distractions in the workplace? Is fatigue a factor when performing the task? And possibly, how much experience does the individual have to perform the task? 